أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وأولو الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself on abduk al ajisu da'ifu miskin wa zalim wa jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and in this path of nothingness that always a reminder for ourself that what we said earlier is that this way of faith and the ways of tariqah with all their teachings of realities is to teach taslim and to give us tools to reach that reality and to enter into real Islam through the mayat. And that the covenant we gave to Allah and the promise we made and the one who breaks his promise harms his own soul. Means the words of what we say within the bayat is, is Islam. The Islam without the bayat is not complete. So the turuqs are there to bring real Islam to people that remind you of your covenant that you made before you came onto this earth. That Allah gave to you your destiny of its good and its bad. And we said, Bala, yes, you were sent onto the earth, shut down, sent into the womb, and that to fulfill that covenant of its good and its bad. Not just good. Allah loaded it with everything that's going to be coming to you, your family, your children, everything of its good and bad, you said, yes. And Allah's rahmah and mercy is the tariqahs to remind us, oh, oh, oh you made a promise to Allah because dunya by its nature is to intoxicate so that you forget what you promised, right? Show you all of these allurements, busy yourself on social media, look at all the things that people have and what you don't have and then you forgot what did Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Did I promise Allah And the tariqahs come to remind you, no, no, you have a, a covenant with Allah and that connect your heart, make your meditation, do all your practices. Bring this energy that you need, these are the tools Allah is giving to the turuqs. Make your tafakkur, means make your hisab every night and ask yourself, are you connecting, are you able to connect, do you feel the energy, do you feel the light and do you think that you are closer to what you promised Allah and that you live a life of? service because our example is Sayyidina Muhammad <coughs> he lived a life of service, right? He served the nation, he served Allah his servanthood. He taught his holy companions, serve Allah told his holy family, serve Allah Then Allah gave us the ulul am, ati Allah, ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum, they come into our lives and show us, serve Allah with everything you have.
from your time, your mind, your ability, your wealth, everything you have in the service of Allah was your trust. When you live a life of service and take your daily accounting then we are reaching closer to our trust and what we promised Allah Otherwise people come back and, what is it that you did for tariqah? Most 90% nothing. Why is it that you expect so much from it then? What did you do to it? You ate the food from the zikr? Congratulations. If you're living here or what about the people from far away? They took the time to listen? Congratulations to you, that blessing was for you. That was a dress on your soul. But what did you do now for the tariqah? How did you live a life of service? Most can't answer that question. They took from the tariqah, they took the barakah, they watched the videos, they, they, they took all these blessings in their life. But that wasn't your ahad and the covenant that you made with Allah The tariqah comes to perfect, what is it that I promised Allah I can guarantee you it didn't promise that. Because Allah didn't take anyone's promise, you're gonna go absolutely nothing but turn on the zikr. This is your covenant, so, oh okay bala, yeah that's it, right, that's, the, that's great Ya Rabbi. And absolutely you're not gonna have any difficulty. That's how fantastic, thank you Ya Rabbi. <laughs> no, because our behesht, our paradise is there, not here. So I'm gonna send you down to earth. Oh no, they were crying, we came into this earth crying, not laughing, right? The first thing they did to you was slap you. So what kind of an entry was that? You thought you're coming into paradise? They slap you, you started screaming and crying and now the rest is going to be a series of slaps. Forty days of difficulty for every one day of good. This is the abode of testing. And you're going to face hardship, you're going to face financial hardship, you're going to face death, you're going to f face disbelief. You're going to face every type of difficulty in which Allah describes, am I not going to test you like I tested the nations before you? You are the Muhammadan kingdom, the highest one. So then Allah's blessing was the tariqahs because when I test other people they don't have the tools. Can you imagine a life with no tools? Everybody saw people who had no belief during COVID, they were pale, freaking out. What am I going to do? We're going to die tomorrow, hmm? Yeah, if I don't get two more of these, we're going to die. So well, I don't know about that. They were pale, why? No faith, no purpose. They didn't plan that they're going somewhere else. The party here that they planned that would go forever, all of a sudden got a kill switch. We're gonna actually die in this party? If you don't have a concept of something hereafter and that you're working towards a goal and that you want to avoid a difficulty in the grave where everyone goes into the grave, what condition is that grave going to be like? Means this is a ni'mat and a blessing from Allah that they understood they're on this spiritual journey, they understood they have a ticket to go back. And they understood that they needed their home in paradise and that this abode and this abode of testing was to pass the test, not be victorious that everything would come your way, the way you want it. So Allah's blessing is that, I'm going to send you people who will remind you. So the shaykh doesn't take your path, cheat you on your path give you the answers to your path but He merely teaches you the tools in which to survive your path. So for all these years teaching meditation, how many times when difficulty came you closed your eyes to meditate? Oh that's just something he keeps saying, I don't know why he says it but I don't actually have to do it. So what? That was the whole tariqah. That as soon as you get smacked around in life, 
They said to use that test to draw close to Allah because when He smashes the outside, the inside is drawing near to Him. And you should have used that experience to cry on your carpet, to go to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad say, it's too much, my outside is burning. It's not too much for your soul, it's too much for the physicality as a release and as a result it cracks the physicality. So that the soul moves into their presence. That's we said this, the secret of hardship was to keep your soul fresh. For if hardship doesn't come, what happens? Your body will grab like an alien movie and dig its roots into your soul until you become so dead hearted because you're enjoying everything. And then you talk to these people and say, no actually this earth is our paradise. Why? Because their soul was darkened, they lost their soul. They allowed the physicality to go so deep in its roots that they gave nothing of nourishment, they made no connection for their soul and their hearts are dead. And as a result they feel nothing and they think, this is paradise. When Allah sends guidance and Allah describes whom we guide are rightly guided and whom we don't guide have no guidance. But we saw in the pandemic those whom had no guidance had no guidance. Many jumped because they said, for sure we're going to die, we're going to die, we're going to go jump. So, wow, what if you found out that that was just, you know, hypothetical things? If Allah wants to save you, you're not going to come, nothing going to come to you. You don't have to inflict harm upon yourself trying to protect yourself. These are the gifts of faith. And they understood nothing comes to me except, قُلْنَا يُسِيبَنَا وَكَتَابُ اللَّهُ لَنَا مَوْلَانَا Yeah, nothing comes to me that not written by Allah in His book. No matter what they say, it has to be written by Allah So all the tariqat are tools, the shaykhs are supposed to teach these tools that these hardships are coming, learn to connect your heart. And every time a hardship comes, know that it's a secret gift from Allah to draw out your soul. I give many examples growing up. When everything was good, we were nowhere to be found. As soon as my dad cut me off, I was in his living room, right? What happened? What's going on? So I don't see you. If I don't cut the fountain, you don't come by. So we remember those testings when we grew up and Allah puts us in a condition so we remember. Just you remember how you got cut off? So I'm no different with my servant. When I love my servant they have to draw near to me. If they're distracted by something else I'm cutting it off, I'm going to cut their tap off. And they shouldn't go crazy but they should have been connecting. So you wasted the seat that you have. So why were you in the tariqah? Why were you listening for all these years? They give the tools, meditate, contemplate. Every time difficulties, now they're coming in like fireballs, vroom, vroom. You know, from every direction, threatening your finances, threatening the earth, threatening wars, threatening every direction. Not so you're like a chicken without a head run down the street. So I'm joining the crazy people but that I make my tafakkur, throw out my sajada, my carpet and go into sujood that, Ya Rabbi I'm overwhelmed that I need, I need for you to reach to me and they keep praying and crying and they feel Allah closer than their jugular vein. And they ask, Ya Rabbi let me to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad the Rasul that brings all the broken hearted people to his presence, right? Everybody goes to Medina to Munawar because they're broken hearted and that's the way Allah wants them. When they have difficulties and hardships 
They immediately fly into Medina to Munawar to be in the presence of the one and the only one who can calm their heart and their faith. So awliya they'll come and teach you, won't that's very easy, go on your sajjad, go on your carpet, go into your sujood and pray, Ya Rabbi help me. And then see yourself at the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad send a light, not to answer your prayers but draw close to me, send your light onto me, send guidance onto me. Not to change my condition, that's not your problem the condition because then you become again disappointed, oh I thought you were going to give to me, so no, that, that's not for you. What I need from Allah I need sakina and tranquility within my heart. That if Allah dresses you, blesses you, the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad dresses you, everything is fine. And if they rip you to pieces but you have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad everything's okay. So what Imam Hussain saw in the deserts of Karbala? Did he get angry? This is the family of the Prophet of Allah everyone else is nothing. For the example of the family of Sayyidina Muhammad in the desert with their own nation looking at them saying, we're going to rip you to pieces. That wasn't the time to lose your faith with Allah that wasn't the time to complain to Allah but was to go deep in their tafakkur, ayat al sabr and they carry the amr of Allah because they are the masters of ulul amr. The command of Allah was to go there and face that difficulty in whatever condition Allah wanted them, they faced it. And there are the signs, amr jabbar they carry the sifat of Jabbar that Allah sent such a heavy command that they went in with their families and their children and, and, and females into an event that unimaginable and patient through the slaughtering fields of what Allah wanted for them. Never they screamed out, there's not a single story that they screamed, oh you have forsaken us Allah, you forgot us? No, they prayed more, they worshipped more. And then awliyaullah come and, and, and begin to describe actually in the heart they could see Sayyidina Muhammad on the entire horizon and all they could see was behisht and paradise and that they walked into that faith and they walked into their paradise realities. And these are the symbols of rijal, these are the symbols of, of maturity and manhood that people have to regain their manhood and understand that the testing is a gift from Allah Every type of difficulty that comes to the life of people, make your connection. How many times the shaykhs their hearts have been broken and, and, and shot down and destroyed from every direction and they drew closer to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Then we understand why the tariqah came. If you're not using the tools and when a big difficulty comes, what is this? How come there's nothing happening? It wasn't supposed to happen. You were supposed to be using the tools to meditate, draw close to Prophet And as a result you understood that when the shaking of your physicality is a ni'mat from Allah to bring out the reality of the soul. And those that can balance themselves in which they've been shaken enough they understand that they should be always connecting through good and bad and they don't enter states of heedlessness but continuously connecting, continuously asking for their nazar, continuously crying for forgiveness, continuously patient with whatever adversity and tests that come into their lives. And they use the tools that Allah gave them. We pray that Allah inspire us to begin to use because before you, you had a choice, use it, don't use it and maybe everything would be patient and calm wherever you are. But as difficulties come and they come so immensely powerful now that these tools become life-saving tools. 
in the face of fear, in the face of deceit, in the face of every type of difficulty from humanity, meditate, connect your heart, go into your sujood, go into your prayer carpet, ask Allah for light, ask Allah for permission to draw near to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and then feel the rahmah and Allah's Divinely grace that gives a sakina and a peace onto the soul. Not that he listened to changing but you have peace in the difficulty. So it means that in the sen- in state of peace anything happened to you, you're in taslim in a beautiful beatific ocean of Allah's lights and beauties. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and give us a deeper understanding of why we're in the tariqah inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Surat al-Fatiha.